Hey guys, and today I'm sure you guys make your own Roblox story. Uh, you're like, how do you get this page right here? So I'm gonna show you. So, first off, you're gonna open paint.net. And then, whenever you've done that, Once you've reopened it, download the template in the description below. And then you're gonna press open once you're done with it. And then put it into any file. I put it into um, pictures. And press on it and click open. And then see it will pop up like this. And then you're gonna, uh, what? You're gonna press the magic wand. You can see here. And if it's not showed up, you can press this tool it's over here or F5. See look. It's gone. It's back. And yes, I pressed it. So um yeah. And so then you're gonna press magic wand and see hold C T R L and then press the bottom ones like this. It should highlight like this a little weird. And then like you just highlight all of them. You can highlight all of it. If you mess up, just restart. That simple. Once you've got this, you're gonna. Once you've got this page all over here, all on like this, you're gonna press delete. Not backspace, delete. So it's above backspace. And then you're gonna press rectangle select over here at the, at the top. And then you're gonna. Click, right click, right, left click and hold, and then drag it like this down. And then again, press delete. Same over here. Same over here. It's the same thing throughout the whole thing. Okay, let's do this. It takes a while sometimes. So once you have this screen, you should do this. So you're gonna open your browser, any browser. So I'm using Dan TDM. Copy image, choose any image. If it's square, then you don't have to have a um, transparent background. But if it's not square, you you have to have a transparent background. So um, here again, you're gonna press the clipboard and paper. And as you can see, you can see this Dan TDM thing. Minimize it to small. And then you're going to make it fit inside this little tiny box. Once you've done... Actually, I missed this, I missed this step, guys. Hold on. I missed this step. Okay, so you're going to... You don't have to do this, but I recommend it. So you're going to rectangle select. I have a rectangle select paint bucket. Choose your color. I'm gonna use red because it looks cool. Uh, I'm gonna use blue actually. Use blue. So you CTRL, and then press in the middle of the torso like that. It should show up like this. And then you paste it, resize it to whatever you want, and then you put it into the middle box. Totally forgot about this step. So once you've done that, you can. Okay, once you've done this. You can, you can add another thing right here. It's the back. So I am. I'm gonna add um, him dabbing because uh, why not? And then copy or I mean paste. You have to make it a little smaller than what the box is. Updates later. There's him dabbing. And then you're going to get rectangle select. And you're going to choose this box right here. You can choose the whole box if you want long sleeves. But for now, I'm just going to use some short sleeves. And then you're going to click paint. Citaro. That. And it should highlight this one. If it does this, you've done it wrong. And then do the same thing with this one.
Once you've done that, guys, you're going to, um, you're going to pick an, another image if you want. You can just color it if you want. But I'm picking another image, and it's not going to be, it's going to be, um, Minecraft character? No, it is Minecraft character, because why not? Copy image. I do not do copy image, I just, just copy image only. Then you should get this image again. And then you have to make it really, really small, like this big. You need to do that. I know it should not look perfect. If you're if you're like very picky like me, you can make you can make a hoodie like I am. Oh, it's not even. Oh, oh. I'm black. So I'm using black as the stripe for me. Can you use that? So it is not letting me use the pencil. Yay! Yeah, and that's because. You selected this still, and then you're just gonna click out, click out of it, and then you go back to the paintbrush or pencil. I use paintbrush. Change it to black or whatever color your shirt up to be, and you drag it down. So that's how you make hoodies in the box. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.